Chirp's Flight Program. For as long as Peep and Quack have known Chirp, she's been trying to fly. Without success. Maybe you should rest. You've already tried... One, two, three, two... Twenty-seven times! Twenty-eight. Ow! Huh. Your bottom's getting flat. I think you should try something else. Like what? Like swimming. Yeah, it's time you learned how to swim. It's like flying in water. <sighs> Maybe you're right. All right, lesson one. Getting into the water. Now pay attention. This is very scientific. Lesson two, moving in water. Watch closely. The feet must move without you even thinking. The mind, a total blank. I can do it without getting wet. Okay, that's impossible! Then forget it. There's nothing I hate more than getting wet. No! <gasps> ah! Wet! Wet! Oh! Wet! What? I hate water! Yeah, yeah! know what fresh cherries taste like if I can't fly up there and get some. Hmm. Maybe you should look at how other birds fly and then try to do the same thing. I never thought of that. Thanks, Peep. So Chirp set out to discover how other birds fly. Quack thought she should start with seagulls because they make flying look easy. always flapping, but look at that. No flapping! See what I mean? Oh, whoa, whoa. oh. Hmm. At least I'm not wet. Try again. I think you were flapping, uh, I think you were flapping too much. Kind of over flapping, yeah. Think floaty. I'm floaty. I'm floaty. I'm floaty. I'm floaty! I'm floaty. <laughs> Can we look at a different bird? Next, they studied a hummingbird. Those wings go. I, I, I don't think you're flapping enough. No, lack of flapping, yeah. Let's try. 
try something else. Pete took them to look at a butterfly. Hmm. You have to get them uh, back till they touch. Closer in front, that closer behind, that's it, that's it. I am not a butterfly. See, just make your wings like a shell and um... No. On their way home, Pete, Chirp and Quack ran into the raccoon, who quickly explained why Chirp was having trouble. Look, there's more to flying than flapping your wings. See? We call that forward propulsion. Pro what? Ah! You just need someone to throw you. I don't know. That thing doesn't fly. It, it just glides and... Uh, you're too round. You need to act more pointy. That's it. No more. I'm a little red robin. I'm not a seagull or a hummingbird or a butterfly or a bug or a piece of paper. How do they do it? What do grown-up birds have that I haven't got? <gasps> A full-grown feather! Hey! My hat! Part. Someday I'll be able to do it. Then I'll get to taste a really fresh cherry. Mm -hmm. Oh! Huh? A cherry! Quack! Hold it right there! Don't move! Shouldn't we share? I mean, you know, I did catch it, and, uh, you know, I don't really want to wait until your feathers grow in. I mean, good golly, that could take a long time. Well, you know, I mean, we don't... I mean, who am I to say? I mean, it's your cherry, right? But, uh, you know, I am your friend. Your very, very best friend. That's my mom. She's taking us to the toy store. And she got us some little flying toys. Now we're taking them to the park to try them out. There's Diva. And there's Keenan. And that's me. This is a propeller and it sort of keeps the plane on balance. Hey, actually, the propeller spins while the glider is flying. <laughs> nice. Now Karan is folding up little flaps on his tail wing. When I throw it, the wind blows up against it and it goes up. His glider now flies up and makes a loop. If you give these gliders a good throw, they fly really well. This is a toy that's a stick with a propeller. And when it flies, it's like a flower spinning in the air. This is kind of like a helicopter balloon. It's half balloon and half helicopter. It's not really flying well. 
Diva's balloon is flying better by itself. Have fun watching how different flying toys can fly. <laughs>